Hello, so I did it again. I collected over 1600 surprise yards and it's finally time to open them. I collected them from doing the daily tasks in the Warzone 4 to 6 area. The quests are measurements and charting. And if you want to know how to complete them, you should check the video at the end of this video, where I have these two quests explained. This is one of the easiest money making methods in Tibia, and all you need is a level 100 character. I did this before when I opened 1337 surprise yards and made over 20kk gold. So let's see how much we can get this time from opening even more yards. Let's go! To be a blackjack. Play now and win many Tibia coins. Blackjack. Roll at. Crash game and high low. Plus the chance of winning 250 Tibia coins every week. All provably fair games. Link on the description. In short, these quests takes around two minutes to collect two surprise yards. So that's one jar for one minute. It that means that I spent 1619 minutes doing this quest, or 27 hours. Insane. I started collecting the jars after the last winter update with all my characters on Impulsa that was over level 100 and I had my goal set. I would collect as many jars as possible until the summer update. The results are as you can see 1619 surprise jars. I did open them on my Twitch channel, a link to that is down in the description if you want to see some live content. But you may ask how much is 1600 surprise jars worth? Well, if you sell them on the market, they go for around 15k each. That would give me around 25kk gold. Some easy cash and I would not have to open them. But I decided to do a gamble and the result was pretty cool. I got 423 silver tokens, 130 gold tokens, 233 violet gems, 689 blue gems and 144 suspicious devices. Collecting the surprise yards took me a long time so maybe this video would deserve a thumbs up, right? Thank you. Okay, so let's count some money. On the server that I play, the silver tokens goes for around 33k each. That means that they have a value of 14kk. The gold tokens are priced at 44k each and has a value of almost 6kk. The violet gems are 10k each at chop that means another 2.3kk and the blue gems sell for 5k each at the shop for a value of 3.4kk. Last but not least, suspicious devices sell for 15k each on the market for a total of 2kk gold. That means that all in all I made 28kk profit doing these quests between the winter and summer update. I collected this over a long period of time but the profit is still there. A total of 27 hours for 28kk profit sounds good in my ears and especially by doing these quests while waiting for bosses, a spawn or something else that you might want to do in game but is a queue. And of course you could open the rewards right after completing the quest. You don't have to collect them all and open them at the same time. That's just a big waste of time if you ask me. If you want to know how to make these quests, you should check the video on screen right now. Thanks for watching and until next time, see ya.